Hi y'all. Martha here from Martha Makes Art. I just wanted to pop in today and join the open collaboration Thrifty Thursday hosted by Turquoise Dreaming. The link will be in the description. Today, well not today, actually it was yesterday, I went to a new thrift store. I didn't even know it was there. I just came up on it accidentally, but it was so much cheaper than Goodwill, so I bought a few things. So let me first share you the things that I bought that are not book related, because I did buy a lot of books. So the first thing, I bought this little um, easel. Well, I'm always using these small easels for something. So 99 cents, I thought that wasn't a bad deal. And I bought uh, this cute set of cards. I believe that's a little chicken on there. So since I've been doing a lot of ATC card making, I thought I would get this. And then I also bought, um, I bought those because the backs were different. It doesn't really matter though, I guess if you're gonna put your information on there, but then I bought these two sets for 99 cents. I'm pretty sure these came from the Dollar Tree because when I bought mine recently, this is what they look like. So I got them a little cheaper than the Dollar Tree. And this, I bought this fun little, uh, I guess it's supposed to be a necklace. But it was only 99 cents. And it is so cute. Look at that. The pretty um, tropical flower. And I guess that's supposed to be a parrot. I don't know. But all these beads, I mean, I don't know. I just thought it was a good deal. And I probably will take it apart once I learn how to do dangles, I will probably use the beads <laughs> to do one of my journals with it. Because I'm get, really kind of getting into that lately. So, um, that's all of the stuff I got that wasn't book related. So, I also kind of want to do a glue book. But I don't really have enough stuff to cut pictures from so and then these are also good for journals they're also good for mixed media art so I guess I just bought books because I wanted them for different projects whatever I'm in the mood for but some of these are so fun that um I might read them first and the best thing about it was um I don't know they the prices weren't really listed. It was on this one, but on some of them, the prices weren't list, uh, listed, but one of the customers told me every day the books are 75% off, no matter how much is marked. Well, when I went up to the counter to buy, she said, oh, everything, all the books are a dollar each. And I said, well, the man said they're all 75% off. She said a quarter each. So I think she just charged me whatever, and uh, I'm not... I have no problem with a quarter each, but the only thing is if you use your card, you have to have buy um, $5 worth of stuff. So that's why I went and bought the extra cards and the easel and stuff. But I thought this, this has got so many pretty pictures in it and words and this like best and buzzworthy of 217. I thought that would be really interesting to just read through. Um, it's just chock full of trivia and pictures and, oh, look at that cool mushroom. Oh, and the cats. So many nice pictures in here to chop this thing up. <laughs> An eagle, nice. Just so many things, look at that. Well, I did see a really pretty mushroom in here, but... I don't see it now. It's in here, though. Oh, there it is. Look at that. that is so, such cool pictures in here. Look at this. Nice. Really love this book. 25 cents, y'all. Love it. 
And this one, I didn't get this because it was a diet book. I got it because the book, the pages were kind of yellowed, you know? And I can use it in some, well, the same thing, mixed media, journaling, whatever. And this one, How to Be Happy by Finding the Good in the World. Uh, my little likey journal, I guess. It's, I don't know. I guess that's what that word is. But it's also full of cool pictures and um, words. And actually, it might be fun to read and go through. And I might work in it, too. It might be fun. So before I start chopping them up, I want to really give them a, a close look. And then I thought this book was really cool, too. Celebrate Folk Art Landscapes. And it has got a bunch of really nice pictures in it. And um, I don't know if they're done by famous people or not. I will have to read in here more thoroughly. It has some really nice art in here. And, oh, oh it's, uh, it's a painting book, I guess. It tells you how to paint these. Oh, all right, I see. Even better. I might actually go through this and so it looks like I got some good books in here. Look at this one, that's so cute. And I don't know how many is in here. It looks like about maybe four or there might be more in here than there are pictures for. Yeah. But anyway, that's full of pretty pictures and instructions on how to do the painting. Oh, there's some in the middle right there that I missed. <laughs> that's cool. That is so pretty. I like these. Nice books. So, and this book is a music book. And I got it because of the music sheets, but it's in a different language. And I have no idea what language. I think it's Chinese, but I have no idea for sure. If you're out there and watching and know, comment and let me know. But I thought it would be really fun to um, use in my projects with the foreign language or not. It looks like most of it is notes anyway. I don't really see a lot of words to the music. So I didn't notice that when I picked it out. The words and the language are down at the bottom on of them, most of them, I think. Hmm. Some of it's in English, I guess. Like tempo and, no, that's not really English, I guess. Tempo de value. And that, I thought that was a really nice book to have in the stash. And then I got one of these, Birds and Blooms. And if you've seen these books before, you know they're just full of beautiful pictures. And that looks yummy. So, oh my gosh, that's gorgeous. Just beautiful. So now I got myself some nice pictures to use. And then I got this one, Midwest Living. It's got a lot of nice pictures in it too, not a, and the nice words. So I'll probably be cutting this one up. A lot of nice things in here too. And then this one, my little angel. 
paintings by Sandra, I think that's pronounced Cook. I've never heard of her before, but there's a beautiful inscription, beautiful handwriting in here to Emily Rose, our beautiful angel, Grandma Susan, Grandpa Jerry, Christmas 2006. That's beautiful. And the pictures, look at the pictures. Oh my gosh. Children are living jewels dropped. Uh, I cannot read that word at the print. I'll turn my CCTV on and come back to it. But look at all the nice verses. The beautiful pictures. Wow, that's just beautiful. That'd be beautiful just to be a journal itself. Love that. Yeah, I haven't made a journal yet out of a book. So, and I've got a couple of... Um, Little golden books. One of them's really trashed. Um, I thought I would practice on it. And then I have another one that's intact. But I want to do that soon. Let me see if I can read this under the CCTV. Children are living jewels dropped unsustained from heaven. Unsustained. Hmm. That's an interesting quote. I don't really quite understand what it means. I guess it'll have to sink in. We must teach our children to dream with their eyes open. So a lot of pretty quotes and pictures. I love this book. And this is just an old calendar. <clears throat> from 2021 which is only a few years ago but it has some really fun art in it that i really like i love old calendars i have a little collection of my own from several years and i use them sometimes sometimes for different projects and i love these pictures in here i thought they would be really fun a lot of fun pictures. <laughs> Look at that, so cute. Really nice calendar. That shows you all of them. Oh, this, excuse me, this little, and now this book is really fun too. What a year it was, 1954. So, I thought it was a yearbook originally, but it's just kind of like that other one. It's like a lot of what was popular in 1954, just like that one I showed you from 2017. So, there's a lot of cool black and white pictures. Look at this one. A hair contest. And uh, there's some old advertising in here. Just stringing along, stringing along in the spring. You can pay more, but you can't buy better. See those old advertisements? That's very cool. And I don't know if this was printed in 54. It looks like... Uh, It's a, it looks like it's a reprint. It's not original. Because it says, uh, text and image copyright um, 2003, I think it says. So it wasn't printed in 1954, but it's still really cool to look through. 
Look at those old hairdos. I love those. And some of these old outfits. The ladies just look so classy. Of course, if I'd have been living in that time, I wouldn't have looked classy. I've never had the figure for anything like that. <laughs> but it's nice to dream. Just so nice. I love it. There's Dean Martin. And I know who that is. Does it say? Is that? Oh, that's Jerry Lewis. I thought it was someone else. But anyway, a lot of old pictures. Love these books. So I got all these cool books with all these cool pictures. Uh, I think it was less than $7. Originally, before I had any of this other stuff to go with it, it was only three something. But I, um, you have, I didn't have any cash. So I went back and just grabbed some things that I knew I would enjoy using. But anyway, I hope you liked my Thrifty Thursday haul. And if you liked it, please hit that like button and please comment and please subscribe if you're not already. Thank you for watching. Bye now.